A Henderson County father and son were among the victims in this morning's deadly wreck on I-26 in the upstate. The Spartanburg County coroner just released the names less than an hour ago. 31-year-old John Daniel Fink of Zirconia and his 9-year-old son James Landon Fink were pronounced dead at the scene, along with Donna Renee Bailey from Maryville, Tennessee, that's near Knoxville. All died after a tanker truck hauling gasoline erupted in flames. You searching Justin Hinton has been on the scene for much of the day. Justin, what's the latest out there right now? Well, we're currently on the eastbound side of I-26. You can see that that part of the highway is moving freely, but the westbound side remains closed at this hour. There are a number of crews on here, much more than what we saw at 6 o'clock, and this road has been closed throughout much of the day. There's a lot of lives that were just lost there. Pictures capture a burning tanker. Video shows the aftermath. Three people killed in a fiery collision in Spartanburg County near New Cut Road. A fourth person airlifted from the scene, now at a burn unit. But I can't confirm that uh, these victims are from more than one state. What caused the crash is still under investigation, though burning gasoline made it worse. This is not one of the most flammable liquids that we deal with. But when you have that um, volume of gasoline burning at that one time, uh, it's you're looking at some severely high temperatures. Enough to cause damage not only to the vehicles, but to the road as well. Taking close to an hour for as many as 40 firefighters from 10 agencies to put it out. It's so bad, we're, we're unable right now to get a VIN number or a tag number. Making it that much harder to identify the victims and all the more heartbreaking for their families. Be thinking about them uh, in your quiet time, prayer, whatever it is, because it takes a great deal of uh, uh, fortitude for these individuals to go on after something like this. Continues to be under investigation and additional testing is pending due to that fire. Reporting live in Spartanburg County tonight, Justin Hinton, News 13.